What's up guys, JP back at you once again bringing you guys another review. This time we're reviewing something a little bit different. It is not a horror film, but it is a film that I really wanted to talk about because it is a favorite of mine. Uh, it does have sort of a darker tone to it. And that is Surviving the Game from the year 1994. This stars Rucker Hauer, uh, Gary Busey, and of course Ice-T as our lead character. It's sort of one of those classic tales. It's the tales of humans hunting humans, you know, the most dangerous game. It's a story that's been told and retold time and time again. But I think that this version right here, this 1994 version, is a nice updated version that kind of um, takes it into a little bit of uh, modern times and, and things like that. So this film follows a character named Mason. Mason is a man down on his luck. We do get to learn a little bit about him through character development that... Um, he has a reason for being where he's at and he's homeless him and his friends sort of go around they steal food they hunt in trash cans for food um, all the while you get the sense that that Mason is just not happy and he's probably never gonna be happy he's in a heightened state of depression uh, not your regular depression that you get from being homeless and living on the streets but sort of a hyper um, version of that that you can tell that there's some scars that have not healed um, that he that he's been dealing with both physical and and metaphorical so basically one day he runs into a guy who is helping out at the soup kitchen that is trying to help him very hard and Mason doesn't want help from anybody and he doesn't believe in help he doesn't think that anybody will ever give him a chance or an opportunity so he kinda shoes him off uh, the guy is very persistent. Mason decides to take the guy up on the offer. He then meets another character played by Rutger Hauer, uh, who offers him a job being a tour guide in the wilderness. Mason doesn't know anything about being a tour guide, but it's supposed to pay well, so what the hell? He doesn't have a job. He's homeless. He gets cleaned up, and he decides to go out. They fly out to the wilderness. They spend a night drinking and telling stories. We're introduced to all the characters. They're, they're all wealthy hunters. They are all people who come from, uh, you know, good backgrounds, people, doctors and lawyers, essentially. Uh, basically, the next day, they wake Mason up, and they pretty much tell him we're gonna hunt you and you have to try to survive we'll give you you know a half hour or so while we eat breakfast to run out into the woods and then we're gonna chase you down and, and kill you uh, so Mason takes off and that's when the game begins it's a, it's a cat and mouse game um, it's a really really good version of the most dangerous game it's a version that uh, is very well done in terms of uh, scope, like the scope of the film is very big, you have a lot of landscapes and, and different things like that, uh, but my favorite part of it is the characters. Uh, they really, really spend a lot of time uh, with each and every one of the characters. You know a little bit about each one without going too deep into their histories, you kind of get a sense of what they are. Um, Gary Busey has a part in the film that it really stands out to me and is my favorite part of the film. And it always sort of was super intense for me when I first started watching this movie way back in the 90s. He basically tells a story at the dinner table of how he got a scar on his face. And it's a very dark and twisted story of his, um, what I would consider, abusive father. Uh, bought him a bulldog and he taught the bulldog to be a protector. Uh, then his father, on his 13th birthday or his 12th birthday, basically made the kid, being Gary Busey, uh, fight the dog to the death. It's a, it's a fantastic story, and it really does showcase um, how well of an actor Gary Busey can be at times, and he kills that moment. Uh, there's also just, you know, a lot of different dynamics, not wanting to... We have a character who doesn't want to hunt him, uh, but, uh, that you know, who's being peer pressured and forced to, to follow along. We have a lot of... Um, obviously obvious subtext about classism going on in this film as well uh, it, it's just a very very solid version of the most dangerous game story um, a lot of action a lot of excitement I, I mean you root for Ice-T's character you feel bad for him uh, it, it's a film that even though it's not a horror film it does have that dark element of humans hunting humans that I think you guys will really enjoy it really is an underrated gem that I don't hear many people talk about I hope that you guys check it out and I hope that you guys 
um, pick this up because it's super cheap. You can get it really cheap on this old snapper case. I don't know about you guys, but I used to hate these things. Now I feel like nostalgic when I get them. They, they, they take me back to the, the days of uh, DVD collecting when, um, you know, the, the market was booming. The, the DVD market was booming back then, and I kind of miss these old snapper cases a little bit. So, see you guys with another review. Peace out.